I'm not sick anymore. And what that means is that I can finally get back to recording. Since while I've been away, I wanted to upload regarding the 1.20 update that just came out. And I have been waiting for this update for so long and I'm really hyped about it. Because I want to find all of the new features with you guys. One of the first things that I want to try and find is actually the cherry blossom biome. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's like the, uh, the newest type of forest they just added into Minecraft. And it's like it got like pink wool, it like got like pink flowers and everything pink. And I, and I want to find it. So we're going to want to look for that. But we also want to try and look for sniffer eggs. And those are just like eggs that are underwater. And I'm, I haven't looked completely into it yet. But I think it has to be like a warm ocean. And in those type of uh, drowned... Uh, like drowned cities underwater. So we're gonna try to keep an eye for that while we're flying around in this world. And while we're flying here... I wanted to talk a little little about that uh, I've been sick for like a week plus and it's been really annoying because I've been wanting to upload so I can give you guys more content but I've basically been able been unable to due to I have a really annoying cough I have to cough like every single 30 second or something like that it was such annoying, but now I'm only stuck with like a little cough every now and then, so that is fine by me. At least it's not what it was like a few days ago. Oh, look at this guys. The smithing template, coast armor trim. Now we got two armor trims we can actually apply to our armor later on. I can finally some new content. I've been searching for so long for like new update stuff. And I got into this area. I haven't been recording that. I can't get... Let me out. Let me out. Please. There we go. Okay, so I've ended up in this place, which is so far away from home. But I'm trying to see if I can find like... Uh, like... What are they called? Drowned people. Also, holy shit, look at this area. This looks so cool. Okay, this is really cool generated. It's like a big volcano place, kinda. It gives me that vibe. But this world generation is actually insane. And it like looks over the big like coral reef and... Hmm. Maybe some future plans here? I don't know. But this was really cool. Okay, back to work. Okay, I'm just killing some stuff because I need to repair my elytra. But look at that in the distance. That means we have a little more chance to get more armor dreams, which I'm really excited about. I'll just kill a few more mobs and then we'll head right over there. Now the only thing we just don't want to grab onto the other fresh that pressure plates. So let's get rid of that right away. Okay, box number one. Nothing there. Box number two. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Well, well. We can grab the few things that we... <coughs> Some apologies. Yeah. Um, I want that saddle because there is another mob that I haven't yet mentioned, which I hope to just find. So I can show you guys. You probably know, know what I'm talking about, but if not, it'll be fun. And I really want to try and find him. I just realized that I actually came unprepared for this because uh, I haven't done my research because I wanted to do this with you guys. And the thing I've been missing is that I need to be crafting something called a brush. And with that brush I need to take and find suspicious sand in those locations I was in earlier that I was hoping to find the sniffer egg. And I'm pretty sure I've Probably killed a lot of sniff rags by accident by using my shovel. And um, yeah, I am. I need to actually right click with a brush to be able to rescue the eggs. So we'll go craft a brush really quick. And there we got ourselves a brush. Okay, so apparently with this thing, 
now we can get our our eggs. Okay, I think I actually found some suspicious sand right here. Since it looks a little different, so let's try this. Oh. Okay, so from... I think I got some... Yeah, I got the wheat from that one. Or I guess from this one. I think that's some coal. Yeah, that was some coal. I don't know what the uh, chances are for stuff. I think it's an emerald though. Yeah, nice. Oh, this is one of the new things, the vase. Yeah. Respecting the remnants. Okay, so we can soon make like a pot. I don't know how many pieces I need though, but at least now we have one of the pieces required. That's something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go! We got the sniffer egg. <coughs> Yeah, I'm I'm really happy now. I've been going to so many of these dumb places and they have like no suspicious sand like at all. And I am really tired of searching this, but I kinda want myself two sniff rigs so I can I can actually breed them up. I'm pretty sure it's possible. I I, I don't know what I need for it just yet though, but I'll probably find that out. So I am gonna torture myself by searching a lot of more of these places probably to have the chance to find another one. Okay, so my original plan was to update you guys when I actually found myself a cherry blossom biome. But in the middle of searching, I came across this village and I saw this really weird ass building. Like, I don't know if this is intentional or not, or it might be a bug, but this looks super weird. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this before, but anyway, the update. I have managed to get myself two sniff rigs and a few more of those sniffing t uh, sniffing? No, sniffing templates and like one more race or so. I put a little bit of in of it into the um, ender chest so it's stored safe. I should probably actually do that with the sniff rig. Why am why haven't I done that? Just in case I die or something. That would have been terrifying. <laughs> Okay, we have now saved at least some of the stuff. Just in case if I were to die. I, I hope not, but... You know what? I, I want these blocks. Okay, oh my god. I just found the guy that I've been wanting to find for so long now. Like, that's why I saved up the saddles. Okay, but before, that, before we do that, I don't want to get blown up by a creeper or something like that. So we are gonna take a quick little nap. And I... Please get out of the way, please. Where did he go? There he is! Look at him! He's so cool! Okay, but however, I am 12,000 blocks away from home. That either means we're leaving him, or we're riding all the way home. I think we're gonna stick with right away all the way home. Yeah, I just put the saddle on this guy and he looks absolutely amazing. Okay, he's he's really cool. He's really cool. Okay. Oh he can jump so far. And he got like a Okay, so I know that you can you can have like two people on this thing as you run. But however, I'm playing alone, so that won't be happening. I love this guy, and he's coming hes coming home to us in our mountain. You know, that might not be the best spot for a camel, but we can we can have the mountain, mountain camel. We have encountered a problem. So, in order for us to get home with the camel, we need to be going straight towards the sun. And... Um, I can't seem to fit the camel into the boat, which is kind of an issue, because I don't have any leads on me or anything. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'll double check. No. We have no leads or anything like that. 
Too bad. So, I don't. I think we're just gonna have to leave him, unfortunately, because. I, I don't want to use like an hour or two to swim across the ocean with him. Oof. I could have done it if I had a lead. Yeah. But we will be back for one. We will get one up in the mountains. That's, that's a goal. So, unfortunately, th this guy gets to be left alone in the middle of the savannah. Now <laughs> it sounds even more sad. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. I, I just found a share blossom biome. Oh, I'm really hyped for this. I'm really hyped for this. Uh, I want to do this in daytime, though. I'm probably going to make it before that zombie gets there. Okay. So, the cherry blossom biome. Oh, I need to empty my inventory. Okay, now that that's empty. Now I want to grab so many different things here. Like, first off, we're going to grab all... We're probably going to harvest all, like a lot of this place. Oh, yeah, I need a hoe as well. And now we're ready. Can you? We can pick up this. Okay, we can do that. Oh, I'm gonna use this like a lot. Cause I also think there's like like flowers, like not. I think there's a different type of flower in this biome, if I'm not mistaken. You okay, know, that's pro that's probably the flower. Oh, this place looks so cool with all like the falling leaves and everything. Oh, the wood probably looks so good. What about the stripped one? Ooh. What about the planks? Oh, I like that. We need to find a smart move to integrate that into the city. So we can have like a cool little build. With it, like all of this. And we're probably gonna swap out some leaves maybe with this. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Now I've grouped up all of the different stuff that I got from the run that we were on. Gathering all of the loot, or different resources, not loot directly. We got a little bit of cherry logs. I didn't, I didn't want to cut down too much. I just grabbed a few saplings and a lot of this and a lot of this. Also, uh, earlier I went on a rampage and killed a lot of rabbits. So that we can make pouches, because I'm pretty sure that's been added here too. And if you don't know what a pouch is, I can actually just try and show you. I don't know how I craft this yet, but we'll figure that out. I was foolish and they haven't been added yet. Back to this. So the first things that we're going to grab here are the armor trims that I managed to achieve. And the sniffer egg. I'm so hyped for these ones. I do know one thing. And that is that you need to place them on a moss block. And then it goes like 50% faster or something like that. I just accidentally killed one of the cows. Okay, well then we have an open space. So we take this and place the sniffer egg on top. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, we'll just place those then and then we'll go and... Do the armor trims. I've now grabbed all of the different re or colors I can apply to the armor. And we're now going to try this. You know what? Just did I actually lock the door? I didn't lock the door. Okay now. So we let's let's put in the chest plate. Let's first take a look at the armor trim here. And just look at ooh. Okay, so that's how that one looks. What about this one? Oh, I like that one as a chest plate, I think. A lot of trimming and fixing later. So let's put all of it on. Oh, I like this. I really love these armor trims. I think for the final thing for this episode will be to actually replace all these roses with these nice new pink flowers. Or, they're all petals, but... Yeah, I want this here. We're gonna replace all of this with the new petals that we have right here. So while that previous Fescat is placing all of those flowers, we'll be taking a closer look at these eggs that I've just hatched. Look at how cute they are! Oh, the little walk is so cool! They have such a big nose, holy... <laughs> 
Okay, these ones are really cool. Can I give him flowers? Or maybe I can place like flowers or stuff for him. Maybe I'll sniff it. Here's some for you as well. I have no idea how these one, like these work. The only thing I know is that they're really good. And I think they can like sniff up eggs. No, seeds I mean, not eggs. And they can give us like ancient seeds from the past. But I think we'll have to take a closer look into these guys in today. No, not today. <laughs> <coughs> My apologies. Okay, in the next episode. So if you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to subscribe and like if you enjoyed today's content. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.